In this video, we're going to be working with a common application of quadratic equations, which involves an object that is falling or projected into the air. Now, the general equation that gives the height of such an object is what we call a positive equation. And on Earth's surface, okay, on Earth's surface, it has the form s equals negative 16 t squared plus v sub o of t plus s sub o. We actually also call that naught. So s equals negative 16 t squared plus v naught times t plus s naught. Now, in this positive equation, the initial velocity, which is our v sub o, it's going to be positive if the object is rising and negative when the object is falling. So let's just put a little note for that. So V sub O is positive for rising objects and V naught is negative for falling objects. Now in this equation, S represents the height of the object in feet. So S represents the height of the object in feet. Our V sub O represents the initial velocity of the object in feet per second. And our S naught represents the initial height of the object in feet. And T represents the time in seconds. So it's important to note that this positive equation, right, our positive equation, ignores air resistance. So it should only be used to model falling objects that have little air resistance and that fall short distances. So let's go ahead and let's do an equation, do an example of, of how this works. So let's look at the problem. A construction worker accidentally, let's clear, so we see our equation. Okay, so a construction worker accidentally drops a wrench from a height of 235 feet and yells, look out below. Could a person at the ground level hear this warning in time to get out of the way? It says, note that the speed of sound is about 1,100 feet per second. So because the object has been dropped rather than thrown, our initial velocity is going to be V sub O. Or sorry, our V naught is going to equal zero seconds. All right, so zero seconds. Now we have an initial height of 234 feet because that's where it was dropped from. So our S naught is 235 feet. So we can plug in our model for S. So we say S equals negative 16 T squared, where negative 16 represents gravity's um, effect, plus zero T plus 235. And so here, we're going to go ahead and finish this up. And we're going to have the S equals negative 16 T squared plus 235. Now, if we wanted to know what the height of the wrench is after falling for one second, we would plug in the number one. And that would look like this. So if we go S equals negative 16, then we're going to plug in the one second, square it, and then we're going to add the 235. And here, that's going to give us a value of 219 feet. So after one second, the height of the wrench is 219 feet. Now, if we want to know what is it after two seconds, we would plug in the number two for two seconds. We would plug that into our calculator and we're going to get a value of 
feet. Now to find the number of seconds it takes the wrench to hit the ground, let's let the height be zero, and then let's solve the equation, right? Because that's what we want to know is when is it going to hit the ground? So we're going to let our s equal zero, and we're going to plug in negative 16 t squared plus 235, and we're going to solve for t. How many seconds will it take? So we're going to begin by subtracting that 235 to both sides to get rid of it. So now we have negative 235 equals negative 16 t squared. And then we're going to divide both sides by negative 16. And that's going to give us, see, negative 235 over 16. So 235, oops, let's try that again. So 235 over 16 equals t squared, right, t squared. And now we're going to square root both sides. And because we're taking the square root of a variable, normally we would say, oh, you have to take the positive and the negative into consideration. But because we're dealing with a real life problem, we're not going to have negative seconds, so we don't have to worry about that particular piece here. So we're going to break this apart, and we're going to have t equals the square root of 235 over the square root of 16. And we can simplify that, that t equals the square root of 235 over 4. And so if you were to say, oh, that's how it's going to take the square root of 235 over 4 seconds, that doesn't really make sense to people. So we're going to plug that in the calculator and get a, an approximate answer. So we plug that into the calculator. We find that it's going to take 3.83 seconds. So what does that mean in relation to our problem? Like, is the person going to hear the warning before it hits them? So the wrench will take about 3.83 seconds to hit the ground. So, a person who hears the warning within one second will have almost three seconds to get out of the way. So the answer is yes. Because we know that if the worker yells that, it's only going to take less than a second for the sound to reach whoever's down below.